you know you need to be writing, but how much should you be writing? How many days a week should you write? How many hours each time? That's what we're talking about in this video. Hi everybody, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia to make your best impact. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about that favorite hashtag, you should be writing or shut up and write, right? They're both really relevant um, to our positions as academics. We know we should be writing, but the thing is, is how much should we be writing? Like in a typical week, how many days should we be writing? And on any given day, um, how many hours? Well, that is gonna depend on your job and on how much time is devoted in your contract, right? What does your contract say um, regarding percentages and how much time should be devoted to research, okay? So if you have a contract where, um, you know, 40% of your time is supposed to be devoted to research, well, in a 40 hour week, you can figure 20 hours is, you know, 50%. So you probably want to be writing somewhere between 12 or doing research between 12 and 15 hours a week. My general advice is if you're not collecting data right now, if you're purely writing um, in a position that has 40% or more for research, then you're going to want to be writing probably about three hours a day, four to five days a week, all right? And you can use that time however you want. You might spend an hour working on a grant proposal, two hours working on your manuscript, or three hours working on one manuscript, however you want to divide it up. For me, what made sense was to spend two hours working on a manuscript and then an hour working on a grant proposal, a conference proposal, a book chapter, something, um, something else along those lines, okay? So that's how I would think about it. You definitely, as much as possible, want to write at least three days a week for at least one to two hours if you can, so that you keep your, um, you know, you keep your momentum going, you keep your brain in, right, in what you're doing. Um, you know what you're working on, you know when you come back what it is that you need, where you need to pick up and move on to. But use your contract as a guideline and also use your future career goals as a guideline, okay? So know where you are, know what the expectations are, and then know where you want to be, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now, and then think about how do those things match up? What do you need to do in order to produce whatever it is you need to produce to be successful at your job, and or meet your career goals, okay? So that's gonna vary for everybody. You have to pick a schedule that works for you. Obviously, different people have different commitments in terms of research, teaching, and service, but try to do something where you're at least writing a little bit most every day, Monday through Friday, even if it's just an hour, um, at least hit three days a week, four if you can, um, and that's gonna keep you consistent, it's gonna keep things going, it's gonna keep you in the game. So head on down to the comments and talk to me. What questions do you have about how often you should be writing? What's your schedule look like, right? How often do you write? How do you approach um, getting pieces out the door? How many days a week do you write? Where are your struggles? Share that, let's share it, let's discuss it, and support one another on our academic journeys.